The deadline has passed, and the National Assembly, as 100-day-long regular session, has come to an end without anything fruitful, really. Lawmakers called it a day after passing some 100 bills for non-contentious matters, but failing to approve crucial bills that the rival parties had been struggling to agree upon. Our parliamentary correspondent Tim Young reports. The last regular session of the 19th National Assembly has come to an end. Amid President Park Geun-hye's continued orders to pass contentious bills, rival parties failed to even pass bills that they had previously agreed upon last week. The agreements that we previously made were not just agreements between the two parties, but they were a promise made to our people. Both sides of the aisle agreed to pass a bill to promote Korea's service industry, a bill on North Korea's human rights issues, and an anti-terrorism bill for the public safety backed by the ruling Saenuri Party. The only thing on the president's mind was passing the service sector bill and pressuring us. The main opposition MPD is against the Service Promotion Act until a part related to the medical industry is removed due to concerns it could lead to the privatization of the health sector. However, the same fate awaited the opposition bloc's bill to facilitate cooperation between conglomerates and small and medium-sized companies, which failed to earn bipartisan support. As lawmakers need to continue negotiations over crucial bills, the ruling bloc called for opening an extraordinary session on Thursday. But it is unclear whether the opposition camp will decide to participate in the extra session. Tim Young-gil, Arirang News.